We had noted across the globe the government regulations and consumer preferences were changing rapidly. And these trends were very clear. Customers and regulators both wanted safer vehicles, better fuel economy, and lower emissions, and connectivity and infotainment while in the vehicle. And we hand selected our portfolio. We went from 27 business units to 10. We narrowed our product lines from 119 to 33. And the product portfolio was focused on the hot space of safe, green, and connected. And 70% of our revenues are from products with a number one and number two market position. We have diversified and balanced the company. Our largest customer is now only 21% of our revenue. Our six largest platforms are with six different OEMs. And we have five customers, each with over a billion dollars in revenue. We right-sized the cost structure to ensure that we were profitable across all points of the auto industry cycle. We strengthened our balance sheet by addressing uncompetitive legacy costs. And finally, we focused on balance across our customer base and geographical footprint. Our transformation is complete. It was done with the objective not to just create a company that could survive, but to create a business that could thrive. The new Delphi is a far different company than the one we transformed in 2005. And since our formation back in October of 2009, our revenues have grown by over 40%. We created a business that is competitive and is profitable, with a lean and flexible cost structure, superior margins, solid returns on invested capital, and very strong cash flow. We are building on the transformation. We are well positioned as we shift our focus to expansion of both the top and bottom line of Delphi.